one of my major conclusions with regards to Iran's role in Yemen is that the international community has been quite bad at distinguishing between Iranian rhetoric and Iranian action. And it's this is an, this is an incredibly important point because it helps us to work out how to respond to Iran. Now there is no doubt that Iran has um, ambitions in Yemen. It wants to worry Saudi Arabia. It wants to please a domestic hardline audience, and so it has every reason to talk up its involvement in Yemen. It's actually been a very cheap option for Iran, according to my research. Um, Iran has not had to spend huge amounts of money uh, financing the rebels in Yemen's north, who are not from the same Shiite sect as those Shiites in Iran. And um, at the same time, its rhetoric in enticing and in antagonizing Saudi Arabia into intervention in Yemen which of course started in March 2015, has, has resulted in two or three things. One, Saudi Arabia is financially under strain. Number two, uh, Saudi Arabia is tied up, preoccupied with a war that looks pretty unwinnable. And that distracts it from what's happening in its northern flank in Iraq, Syria and Lebanon. And number three, Saudi Arabia loses credibility on the international stage and gives Iran the chance now to pose as the peacemaker. And so this has been a real win for Iran without actually having to spend that much money. It's also been in the interests of the partners of the US and UK supported coalition to talk up Iran's involvement in Yemen, because of course, the so-called legitimate government of Yemen under President Hadi needs support, needs to be propped up. 